Zero. Blast off. <laughs> no, that's the Power Rangers in space or the Thunderbirds. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, yeah, both of those have a sound. countdown before stuff uh, uh, Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Please, uh, Mike, Lieutenant Rekir, at your service. And welcome back to Slime Rancher 2 for our fifth stream about of this game. Though technically this would be more like the uh, the sixth video, since I did have a recording that I, I still need to upload. But I'll try to put it up before this. But yeah, basically, I, I did some off-stream work, basically some uh, household stuff and scouting around for stuff. I found quite a few of the uh, orbs, and yeah, we've gotten also a, a good amount of new messages. <clears throat> but yeah, basically, uh, I've, yeah, I've gotten rid of some of the uh, Largos, put up some new ones. Uh, these are getting a bit annoyed. Let me, let's feed them a bit more. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see at the... Uh, <laughs> I've also got sold quite a few plorts. And yeah, we've got a return of uh, an old... Uh, <laughs> of an old uh, slime. The dervish ones. Which, well, they they will only appear during the uh, cyclone weather effects. And hello there in chat, Marco. Oi, mate, what are you doing on this side of West Manchester? <laughs> no, wait, wrong game. <laughs> but yeah, since cats tend to be, well, little whirlwinds of chaos, I thought it'd be fitting to put, mix them with the dervishes. <laughs> okay, beyond that, I've, yeah, I've, got, I've just got some random pink slimes roaming around. Let me actually put some high walls on this to avoid them from getting in. Uh, yeah, we lost our <laughs> Marco's going so many cuties. We lost our <laughs> Yoki slime during the uh, tar outbreak before, but I actually found two new ones instead. Uh, I started a farm for that. I've not got a farm for this going. This is one or less is the favorite of the cottons. And very easy to farm since it comes in just so big of <laughs> big batches. And yeah, I, of course, in case of another tar exp <laughs> Tar, uh, ugh. another tar infestation. I've got a water cannon here. Okay. Uh, you all have are good on food. It's probably not the best idea to just have a bunch of random pink slimes going around, especially since yeah. I can just go grab those outside as well. Yeah, most of us were already roaming free for. They might actually be the ones that trigger the next tar. Uh, catastrophe. Yeah. I think I'll just... I'll probably just launch all of them into a corner and hope they behave. Actually, if I just dump them all at the food here, that might keep them busy. They might go for some of my, the chickens. But I hope they'll mostly stick to one place. Yeah, let's see, Marco, I wish I could buy Slam Ranch, but I spend too much on buying Final Fantasy games. And hello there, Tatum, how are you doing today? Hello, Tatum! <laughs> In into the Wasn't corner, that your you. cat or one of the slimes? That was one of the slimes, because the cats are not, not anywhere near where I am at now. Definitely yeah, loud. Yeah. Some of your swooshy paws <laughs> at my left ear uh, through the headphones. Uh, no, that was that was the slimes. Now, before we go do much else, and before we go find a bunch of the orbs that I found, let's go take a look here. And uh, let's see, Tatum, uh, do you have tars off? No, I, the tars can spawn in this. Let's see, Victor. Oh, hello, I must tell you, I saw this item and I just screamed Beatrix. If it were screaming, you may want to <laughs> check it out. <laughs> and that's how I realized I'd accidentally hit it with the sentience ray. But don't worry, everything is fine and very normal now. What? Sentience ray, what? Anyway, I thought you should have it. Enjoy. Yep. Okay, I guess we now have a sentient portal. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Mochi. He Go ahead. made a portal scream. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a joke, but still. Uh, let's see. 
B. I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've analyzed one of the drones you have been finding all over that island, and I know why it seems so familiar to me. It's mine. Yep. Okay. Or at least, it's one that I've seen before. In my dreams, anyway. Okay. After I looked at scans I took of it, I knew it was familiar, so I began looking through some old Sly and Science journals of mine. These journals are mostly future projects, but sometimes they're speculative, you know, speculative technology. You know me, I'm always thinking stick, six steps ahead to keep Mochi Tech on top of the industry. Well, sometimes I come up with the impossible stuff that I may never engineer in my lifetime. Well, those drones you're finding are exactly that. Impossible with today's technology and taken right from the pages of my journals. There's something I saw in a dream, B. So how did a bunch of impossible drones I designed on, in a dream find their way from the pages of my journals to Rainbow Island? That is indeed quite a thing. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of archive in them we can unlock to learn more. I know they contain data logs, but they would worry me while well, I always know how to find a way of holding back what I need to. Okay, B. I need some time to think on this. I'll let you know if I come up with anything. Maybe I'll sleep on it. Okay, Ogden. That someone needs a coffee. Oh, Luciento, uh, Beatrix. I've been putting in a few night lo uh, long nights reading lately. Specifically, I've been going through every field guide and botanical research paper I could dig up on the far, far range. I thought that even if the flora on Rainbow Island is unnatural, maybe it would have been recorded somewhere with some information we could use. And it turns out, there's nothing. You can't find a single mention of rainbow-hued flora anywhere. So that means that whatever happened at that island to make it look the way it does, happened relatively recently. But I don't think you needed me to tell you this, because I think you've seen it yourself. The things you've described, an entire portion of the island split between two different colors right down the middle? That says accident to me, Beatrix. So tread carefully out there. Nature can be a dangerous thing to us, but it pales in comparison to what we can do to it. I'm going to keep digging around in my library for anything else that could help you. And if I come up short there, maybe I'll just bake you some muffins. <laughs> Either way, the tango, Beatrix. Adios. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marco, he looks like Luigi, but his face is more round. <laughs> and more buff. <laughs> and Thora. Hiya, B. How's life out there on Rainbow Island? Gosh, it's even fun to say. Must be a hoot. You know, ever since I heard you were off doing something new, I got to thinking about my own life and what's the next new for me. Hobson and I have seen, uh, yeah, have both seen and done so much in our lives, been one adventure after one another across this dusty rock, and ever since we've become, yeah, become acquainted, we haven't slowed down one bit. So we're looking to take a new adventure together, but if we, but we just haven't figured out what or where. Maybe we go exploring some hidden nook of the far, far range like you, or even set our sights to the stars like Hobson had done before. Whatever we decide to do, it'll be all the more special because we'll be sharing it in, in this time with each other. That's the part that makes it all the more exciting. It's so hard to find someone in this world that fits you completely. Such a rare thing. Like finding two identical snowflakes in the desert. <laughs> That's a saying? Oh. <laughs> uh hmm. I know you feel that more than I can say. I ain't ever losing sight of just how lucky I am, B. I want to use the gifts the universe has seen fit to give me. Yeah, because Beatrix has someone, well, waiting for them back on Earth. You keep your head up, girl. We'll chat again soon. Hmm. And honestly, if we get a Slime Rancher 3 at any point, I would... I, I think it would be really cute if it... Uh, if it came with a co-op option. Yeah, I would like that, actually. That would be a very not a sweet. Okay, probably just two-player. Yeah, dude, Slime Rancher 2 is still in early access. Maybe they could add it at some points, but yeah. I just really like what the game has already done, and yeah. <laughs> I don't... I, hmm. I think you remember them saying something about Slime Rancher 2 not getting co-op results, but it's a long process, so maybe at one point it may, 
we are still at only what version 0 0.4 or something i think i said before yeah, anyways yeah, yeah. If, if they do a third game that's when they probably could uh, save uh, the core four probably but yeah better to focus on the game that's already well going than on any future possible games yeah mm. But again, it all depends on how much story they want to do for this world. There we go. And yeah, since the since the slimes here are all vegetarian fruit specifically, I decided to just put some coops in here. Though I didn't think I I hadn't uh, expected to, there to be any escapees apparently. Also, this would actually be a decent place to put the Eldars without, well, accidentally feeding them to something. Uh... You said Elders, correct? Yep. But somebody you said Eldar. <laughs> okay, just suck all what of the... them up for a moment. Oh, yes, he's cr A moment I put that one over there had a top hat. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, one, two. All right. I have to see hands back at the in the middle, and yeah, just, I've also just got chicken storage here for emergency. So I I am trying to keep most of the slimes that I've got going vegetarian. So it's easier to feed them. Oh yeah, if I yeah, need a bunch of chickens, I can get them here, over here. Yeah, so we both know that uh, uh, vegetarian only will be a struggle, but we're gonna need other fruit as well. And there's so much and, fruit here. And not not vegetarian only, but more that uh, every every largo will at least eat either fruit or vegetables. Okay. All right. So because it is yeah. just easier to have a, a garden with them all around it to feed than a, well, constantly feeding them from a coop. Uh, let's see, Marco. A friend of mine got really drunk and I had to drive his butt all the way to his house because he wanted to jump off a bridge because his girlfriend cheated on him. Yeah, alcohol and uh, breakups are not a good combo. Anytime. Yeah, yet still many people do it. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, uh, did not mean to bring better. these along. Yeah, little idiots are trying to get to the berries. No. Nope. Okay. You, you know what would be nice if they added uh, to this game? Mm, what? To be able to knit the slimes. <laughs> that, that would be cute. Yeah, that, then we can, yeah, we can easily name uh, one of the pink ones Tatum. <laughs> okay. Actually, is Tatum's uh, main color pink, or uh, is that just me getting tricked by uh, them always appearing pink in chat here? Now they do use it a lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we didn't have anything parked over here before, but I've put some slimes over here. And just to make, just for the sake, just for the ease of it, I made both of them Largos with cottons, since, well, water lettuce is very easy. And yeah, we've got, actually, we I, I'm pretty sure I've got these double now. But yeah, here we have cotton tangles, because tangle slimes do also reappear in this game. Uh, but they only appear during a certain weather effect. Which is actually a two-stage one. So, let me just... Give these... <laughs> give these little gluttons some more of their foods. Water lettuce... Man, the water lettuce kind of makes sense. And since, oh. well, lettuce is... Practically mostly water. Yeah, so you just have a... Extra watery lettuce. It doesn't sound bad. 
Ooh. Let's see, accessing log. I've been pacing all over the conservatory after it happens, my mind racing with what I should have done differently. I felt so guilty, so misguided. I ended up in these ruins and just I just slumped up against one of the walls, totally exhausted. The stones were so solid and cold and I felt the weight of the history they carried with them. And then a tiny bug crawled along one of the cracks in the wall, crawling along one of the cracks in the wall, slipped inside it and vanished. It passed through these ancient stones as if they were smoke. That's when it all came to me. Okay. Also, something I've been taking note of. Some of these drones have a label of 34, but I believe others have a label of 7. So, these might actually be from two different people. Or Possibly. entities. I've also been doing quite a bit of resource, you know, resource gathering. I almost said research gathering. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we can make, we should be able to make a good amount of things now with the, all the slime science stuff. Uh, why is the plant inside of the... That looks a bit different. They got a new ability or something? It looks like it. Oh, I recall them shooting tank uh, vines everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, they would use those to grab stuff. I haven't actually read the... Uh, I haven't actually read the description of them yet. So let's actually do that now. Yeah, Tiger slime. <laughs> a rose by any other name would still eat a chicken. <laughs> oh, Marco. Uh, and now my legs hurt uh, since I had to use my bike because I don't have a license. Okay, yeah, sorry to hear that. Uh, sli slimeology. Though the tangle slime may look innocent with its wide smile and colorful flower atop its head, it ac it's actually a fearsome predator with a big appetite for tasty meat. The tangle slime earned its name from the twisting vines that it can produce to grab things in the environment. Tangle slimes are sometimes found within the creeping vines that grow in areas with heavy pollen weather. The tangle slime can be a handful on the range if they are not well fed at all times. Tango slimes tunnel their vines underground to snatch food and plorts from outside their corrals, but if well fed, beneficial buds will occasionally grow among their vines. Okay, so that must have been one of those. Okay. Hmm. Despite the troublesome nature of the slimes that create them, tangle plorts have incredible beneficial ag agricultural applications. Fertilizers and growth formulas made from tangle plorts are used by farms all across Earth to greatly enhance crop production. It's speculated that the unusually high nutrient count found within tangle plorts that now grow Earth's vegetables results from the tangle slime's incredible appetite for chickens. But that's super gruesome, so let's just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, uh, for a cucumber, they do have a bit of a dark humor at times. Yeah. And the dervish slime twists and turns all day and spirals all night. A dervish slime is a swirling, whirling bundle of energy in slimy form. Dervish slimes are sometimes found in areas with strong, windy weather, cruising across the landscape at high speed atop cyclones. One thing is for certain, wherever the dervish slime needs to go, it gets there in a hurry. The der uh, dervish slimes can cause total chaos on a ranch that's not pro cared for properly. They frequently ride atop whirlwinds at high speed and collect objects along the way. A highly agitated dervish slime can ride larger cyclones of air that vacuum up and toss about anything they touch. When dervish cyclones are roaring across your ranch, there's little you can do other than brace for the chaos that soon will soon follow. Yeah, because that'll probably get a few tar created from throwing around plorts. Hmm. <clears throat> dervish plorts are a fantastic source of clean energy that helps give turbines and generators an extra boost. They're in constant demand as curiously there is a finite number of spins stored in every dervish plort. Okay. Uh, let's see, I, I can more than grab a good amount of these. There we go. I so yeah, on the money... Uh, oh, sorry, go on. Uh, yep. See you in sync again. <laughs> yep. uh, as I say, these slimes seem to do extremely little benefit for humanity and improve lives a lot. Yep. But I am <laughs> noticing a concern. And that is a reliance on them? 
yeah, that may become too low. Like, so far, the slimes are reproducing, seeing all that extremely well. Yeah, but what but if this place gets up... damaged too much for them to be, well, for the environment to support them? Yeah, so far they seem to be handling it well. Probably it is they have to make sure they don't end up making the too many technology that require the plots. Yeah. For the only much they can produce. Okay, I've got a good amount of materials now. A lot of buzz wax, lava dust. <clears throat> Good amount of plorts for most species that we need. Uh, wild honey, I am a bit low on. Jelly stones, a good amount. Uh, yeah, plenty of radiant ore. Okay. So, yeah, we can get a good amount of upgrades. For some, we still need to find the specific upgrade components, which I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. That is a good incentive for you know, to push people towards exploring more. I think for now, let's get the tank guards, so that even if we do fall into the sea, we do we do retain some of the stuff that we're carrying around. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It pushes away slimes whenever you need some personal space. Not too need you know, useful, but I'll probably grab it at one point. Uh, let's grab this one. The heart module. And tank booster. And yeah, we can actually just get everything. I think the only things we need more stuff for now is because we need, uh, yeah, we need the specific upgrades. Okay. We still have two more things to find. Uh, let's see, Marco. That will uh, be released. Uh, who cares if they're predators that could uh, kill you with their slimy fluids? They're just cutie pies. <laughs> Thank you for that mental image, Marco. I'm curious no, what you could actually do with this thing other than try and segregate slimes based on the diet. Oh dear. Okay, so explain it to people. Marco just made me imagine slimes hiding in the pie crust. <laughs> Only to jump scare you. Let's see. I've put up a few more refinery links all over the place, from primarily in places with a lot of resources. And hmm. now I'll leave that be for moments. I found uh, we don't have. I didn't find a new bunch of you know, decorations. I've left those alone mostly. I even made screenshots of the map where I found those, so I'll be using that to try and find them again. Though it will probably be out of order, so it probably won't be from closest to furthest and such. But yeah, for the last bit of the ranch before we actually go and head out. Over here, I've changed out the uh, the hunter boom slimes for hunter rock slimes. And yeah, because they eat vegetables, they're easier to keep pleased. Uh, I do still have to get a bunch more other slimes to just make into these Largos since, well, there's a lot fewer of them. And, well, they're also a hell of a lot less dangerous than boom slimes all over the place here. Okay. And then we have over here. This is where I have got the honey slimes and, yeah, the crystal and the boom. So... Let's go feed them quickly. Uh, they're... Wait. Okay, I thought they were being angry, but no. Okay. And how are you lot doing? I uh, could use a refill, but should be good for the moment. Okay, I think I'm a bit... I think I might be a bit low on boom plorts, so I'll just put those in. That's yeah, just one there. Actually, can I put those back in? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, also, I've got another farm here. But for this one, I have a bit of a different meaning, because I've set up an incinerator for fire slimes. Thank <laughs> you. 
who immediately gets deplorating once they get a bit of ash. Phrasing? Okay. <laughs> okay. I know I don't have many of these, so I'll just grab them up. Yep, new message. Okay. There. And beyond that, I've also got a few ponds here. Well, natural uh, ponds. With a bunch of you know, puddle slimes. One there. And another one here. Okay, I think one of the smaller slimes may have gotten their hands, or figurative hands, on a plort to finally become a Largo as well. So, yeah. Plort production is pretty okay. But more than pretty okay. And yeah, one of this I set one of these up here, just to make it easier. Bing. I should maybe set up one for the market as well, but maybe another time. For now, that is all that is going on at the ranch at the moment. There might still be a, dro a drone or two hidden around the ranch that I haven't found yet. But for now, uh, there's one more thing I should take a bit of a look at or show at. The blueprints. Oh, blueprints for this tech stuff. Weather. Uh, yeah, we've already seen rain. But there's also thunderstorms that can happen. Uh, let's just read it through as well. Hair raising if slimes had hair. Few other spectacles in nature uh, compete with the crack of thunder and flash of lightning during a storm. On Rainbow Island, these storms can sometimes cause lightning to strike down from above, crashing into the ground with incredible force. So when the skies begin to rumble, watch out. I haven't seen any lightning strikes yet, but they can happen. And then we just have wind, hold on to your plorts. Nothing beats the cool breeze of sea air that rolls through every corner of Rainbow Island, but when cool breeze becomes gusts and gales, anything that isn't rooted to the ground can find itself going wherever the wind decides to take it. And Cyclone. Dizzy as a dervish. Cyclones can form when windy weather reaches its peak, creating swirling, whirling twisters that tear through the environment. Cyclones cause chaos, flinging about food, slimes, and even ranches that are in their wake. But in all the chaos, you may just be... <clears throat> You may just get lucky and find some dervish slimes having the time of their lives. <laughs> uh, let's see, Marco. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to die from cuteness. I want one of the slime cats. Give me. You can buy plushies of those. I actually have uh, one of them right over here by my bed. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, dear. Pollen? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I love slimes. <laughs> Rainbow Island is lush with trees and flowers, so it's not unusual to find clouds that cause tears of joy and sneezes of joy as a reaction to the majesty of nature in full bloom. But nature on Rainbow Island rarely stops there, as pollen clouds are often a precursor to more aggressive forms of plant life expanding their, expanding their reach. Yeah, this leads to vine tangle, getting to the root of the pollen. A strange phenomenon occurs on Rainbow Island when pollen clouds swell to unusual levels. Plant life in the area will grow rapidly and erratically, spreading creeping vines in all directions. These vines will spawn large buds that blossom into fruits and veggies and make for a great hunting ground for the wild tangle slimes that, that often appear. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, slime fall. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Even by the standard of Rainbow Island, slime fall is an unusual sight, with dozens of slimes raining down from the clouds above. With as many things, the slimes don't seem to be particularly bothered by it all, but a rancher would do well to remain cautious. With so many new slimes dropped into an area at once, slime fall can easily lead to tar outbreaks. And there's two, still two more other weather effects to observe. And on that, if we actually zoom out, we can see what weather is going on in the area. Well, that's good. No. Um... Oh, you have all the <clears throat> 100 plot in some of the rules containers. Yep. Let's see. Oh, wait, I have okay. assembled for that now. <laughs> oh, no. We should have expected oh. them to show up sooner or later. Hello, fellow human. Has 
gifts for you. Yay! Chickens? Then we got the rainbow mount decoration. And that looked like a gold slime in the middle of the disguise. Let's see. Rumi has that cotton slime's perfecto jumping by bounding over these grass covered mounds. Uh, yeah, something I found out is slimes will actually interact with decorations and such. Oh, that's like nice. Like that. It Uh, will, will that slime stay there? I haven't seen them really get out on their own, so I guess we could use this to temporarily imprison them. Alright. We need to give them uh, these three a name. Each. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll go with Bill, Bob 2, and uh, Baguette. What do you have to remind me of that the thing I told you the other day about? Uh, what? Uh, Wand of Provocation, but it's translated into French. Oh, that. <laughs> Taunting Baguette. Uh, but, uh, Baguette uh, Le... I, I hope I... I could, I'm probably gonna butcher this. Baguette Le Provocation? Uh, provocate. I never took French lessons, and so... My French will be bad. Uh, let's see. Let me look through the screenshots that I made to see if any of these are uh -oh. nearby. We doomed. Uh, let's see. No, if those are all the all slime. <laughs> the game is paused, anyways. Uh, let's see. Okay, there is one over here. So, let's go grab that. I'm presuming that most of these are just decorations. Oh, we we went down in the... Uh, we spent quite a bit of money on those upgrades, huh? From 6,000 to 600. There. Yeah! Okay. Not really sure if I've ever been in this area before, but it's a, it's a decent place to get some jelly stone. Yep. And apparently also some deep brine. Yeah, these just spawn randomly throughout the areas. And yeah, let's see. Oh, pink warp depot. Okay. Speaking of pink, I'll just grab that. Okay, What's so some of these are going to be useful. No. That okay. was the name, then right? Pink Floyd. Uh, pink Floyd is a. Singer, right? Uh, singer or band? There's another one here somewhere nearby. Let's see. Okay. I, I feel like this would make as a good show, a Slime Rancher. Yeah. I think we talked about that last time as well. Very possible. Hmm. Or another. Not Wait, I'm not surprised we had that topic a few times. I think the one I just found was the one I'm actually looking at right now with the map. I didn't actually crop them yet, so they are a bit inaccurate. So that means that there is one down here somewhere. Uh, let me let me remove this one since we've already found it. Um, wait. Okay, there's another one more to the north. Or two more to the north. But let me first try and find the one that's around here somewhere. Is it? Wait. Hmm. I'm guessing it's up on this rock here. Oop, some jelly stone. Oop. Oop. Got the buttons reversed. There. We've got plenty of that, but we'll probably need plenty more for future constructions. Oop. Let's see. Ah, here we go. 
Hello, treasure. A beach umbrella. Okay. All right, that's quite nice. Just pass through here. And on to the next part. Yep. Yeah. Oop. Uh, and, uh, there we go. Okay, that kind of feels nice that we have a bit more way to defend ourselves now. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have the water tank last time, so I may have bought that during the, uh, uh, the with the recording I made. I think you you got it last time we streamed this. You just didn't feel it, it yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, places of clean water are a bit rare around here. So maybe I should put some of those springs around. Probably Let's good see. Idea. Did they pop up? Okay. There's something on this rock here somewhere. Let's see. Oop. Let's see. It is somewhere at this rock. More of these. Excuse me, hmm. I don't think I ever told you why I'm doing my intro uh, through the way I do when we start the stream. Oh? And that's a very simple reason for. You remember early times, the old uh, mic used to. Put out my name. Yeah. That's why I started doing those introduction for if I start doing a talk, then the mic will have records that I'm talking. Yeah, and it won't just cut you off. Yeah, there it is. And that happened went to my new mic as well. So it's a, it's a habit, but also Older. Yeah, yeah, I guess you say a colorful way to fix a minor issue that the old mic had. And yeah. uh, now it's a habit, so I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, I can remove this one. Yeah, there's one around here. Yeah. Actually, can I get to... Yes, I can more than get to here. There are still some places that just have hidden stuff around. Let me grab that. Okay. Sometimes a, a rock with a diamond will spawn in that cave as well. Okay. And yeah. There we go. There's plenty of these teleport pads around. So either those are going to be for some sort of late game puzzle. Or they will be for teleporting to new areas that we just haven't gotten yet. No. I remember this one more specifically because it's on top of this here. There. Conservatory that way. There it is. Boombox. Carry the tunes of the far, far range wherever you go as long as <laughs> where you go includes this boombox. Is that an actual new tool or is that a new decoration? Good question. Let's see. All of that. Decorations. Or it would be more... No, it's not a utility. Okay, okay, it's a decoration. Okay, it would have been nice to just carry around a boombox. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think the big, bigger question you should ask here, the captain. Wouldn't that be? Those slime dance. <laughs> no, but they do jiggy. 
Does that count? <laughs> I think so. Uh, let me see. Any of these others that are nearby, or do we need to go to the other? Ooh. Let's see. Wait, is there? Did I just get a double there? Okay, apparently I found one of these twice. And there is one in the cave here or something. Let me see. It could be on the roof. Or, or just over here. Simple as that. Observatory bench. Bye-bye. Yep. Okay, that's a good amount of these already found. Okay. Now then. Uh, I think we should actually head back and just get a load of chickens to feed to these two. And I also found a new Largo over here. And, yep. The Nuki slimes don't have any preferences, so we'll just have to bring a frick ton of food along to feed that glutton. Oh dear. Okay. But yeah, for resources, the best advice I can give is to just put some of these deposits across the island, uh, so that you don't have to, so don't, yeah, so that you don't have to move too far around to put them down. It will be a bit costly, of course, in the resources, but in general, I think it will. Uh, they can get out. Okay. Probably after a while, and when they are very hungry. Yeah, it clicked out of the game somehow. And so these quick. I'm, I'm tempted to put one of the refinery links upstairs because I'm getting a little bit annoyed of having to run down here every time. That might Anything? actually be a good idea. Let's see. I've got one ready to go. Let me see, I can make this one. But now I don't have enough jelly stone for another link, oh well. Well, jelly stone is somewhat easy to find. Yeah. Let's see, red, blue, refinery link. You only have one of those uh, actually to use. Yep. But I think I'll, I'll probably want to put... I think I want to put that one in this area, if the tabby does unlock the teleporter to that area. So let me just go get... It. Okay, maybe I should put these somewhere else, where they can't harass the chickens. Speaking of, they are re <laughs> there really is just an absolute fuck ton of them here, huh? Especially the sea hens. Yeah, I, I've, I've split the, uh, I've split the pen, the, the coops, to only have one specific type every time. Makes it easier to keep track of uh, which are where and such. You actually have one of the tiny ones with you. It's uh, at last. Yeah. I think we need to put those uh, pink slimes in their own corral. Probably. Hmm. I uh, have more space over here, but the uh, the hunters, you know, the stealth rock slimes, would try to get in with them, probably. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, like some slimes are probably fine to have free rooming, since we can easily distract them with a farm. An orchard. Pink slimes seem to be eager to go everywhere. Yeah. Also, these are out of food, so let me just quickly. What the? Actually... What's that? Hmm? I saw something out the window. But... Yeah, there's something there. Look down. Do you see? The... Oh! <laughs> it's a cotton that got, in... <laughs> got itself a seat. Okay. Well, no, no, I did see something. <laughs> okay. 
Just fire a few in there. So they don't get too angry. How are these doing? Uh, there are a lot of plot in there. I suspect the, the yeah your plot things are maxed out. Yeah. You, you need to sell, my dear friend. Well, sell and put into research and all that. And then it almost got full again. I might need, I might throw out a few of the big guys just so just to stop them from overproducing because there's about 10 of these in each let's, see. let's lower that number down to eight because we're actually producing too much yeah, let's see <laughs> Okay, Oop, another new message. They're coming in quite often now. Oop, I actually pulled out another one. Over there. But if you just throw one out, then have one lay 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 laying around, uh, quite a few messages. Ah, uh, Beatrix, I was cleaning out the lab and found this. Perhaps you have some use for it? I believe it's still in working order. You know what they say, one person's trash is another person's hastily issued gift. <laughs> the small pinwheel. Mochi. Hello, Beatrix. Guess who's the luckiest person in the galaxy? You are, because I, you've got a gift from the Mochi Miles. You know, let that sink in. Go ahead and sit if you need to. Root arches. <laughs> Hola, B. I thought you... Uh, I can't return it, so the more the merrier, right? Oh, portable scare slime. That would be a good way to keep slimes apart as well, I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, so some of those things are more useful than just uh, decorations. I feel like that one would probably be a good idea to have a bunch of chickens, so the paint slimes will leave them alone. Yep. Yeah. Sell these quickly. Uh, we don't get too much for each of these, but we just have so many that we do get a good amount of it. Yeah, for some reason, the, for some reason, these things don't have uh, an upgrades for the scarce line. But it said portable scarce slime. Yeah, for some reason the gar the gardens do get uh, scarce slimes, but the coops don't. It's a bit of an oddity. Let's see. For that, we need more jelly stone, of course. Of course. Okay, maybe I'll just store all the pink slimes down here, where it's unlikely they'll cause trouble without getting uh, yet yeah, too Wait. much things. <laughs> Are you telling hmm? me you're gonna hire pink slime as lab assistants? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Let's see. It will keep them and their plorts all in one place. Let's see. Yep, there I see one, of course. <laughs> yep. Some are trying to get to the chickens. Yep. And yeah, this is this is something you get from Yolki slimes. Just giant eggs that you need to pop and well out come Yolki ports and a bunch of chicks. But if it's if it stays laying around for too long, uh, you won't get any plorts out of it. If we can so it's a good them. thing to visit every so often. Okay. Let's just drop these off here. these in here and then we go get the food for the gordos so let me double check we've got a boom and a tabby the tabby has been partially fed i think or maybe not 
Uh, I know the Flutter one hasn't been fed at all, but it, it requires the special Nectar, which can only be found on, well, the island where you can typically find them. And even then, you can only find it at night. <laughs> Let me check. Slimes, Tabby, Stony Hen, and Briar Hen. Okay. Let's see. Two roosters and two adult hens should be okay. There. Okay. Yep. Twenty-five should be enough, since, well, they require fifty foods. And they get double from their favorites. Oh dear. Then again, we also have the other the the other one to feed. So we may as well just fill up where we can. Let's see. 13, 12, 25. I think we should have enough for those three. Oh dear. <laughs> just having a whole... <laughs> just a whole chicken factory in our backpack. And then also remembering... Uh, hot shots. <laughs> okay, Instead of using else? a bow to fire chickens, you use a cannon. <laughs> okay. And you... I think I still need to com uh, explore that oh, area a bit more. Well, yeah, yeah, let's head out. Is going wild. <laughs> now I must imagine you just shoot all the chickens, beak first, and all of them are screaming the lungs out. So you're thinking of Redneck Rampage. Is there a chicken that gun in that? <laughs> no, you got a crossbow that fires chickens with dynamite, I think. <laughs> but it's, it's not oh, actually God. that good of a game. I, I, I don't remember uh, watching CB play that when I was... I felt I think it was sick at that time. Okay. I might, may may rewatch it. There's five more pods somewhere around this island, or this group. This area, better said. <clears throat> okay. Now, any over here that I made note of? Uh, let's see, those are to the south. Okay, there's one. There is one. Okay, that's three. Okay, there's four... <clears throat> there's four pods around here that uh, I haven't collected yet. Or that I found and didn't collect yet. Okay. Let's see, this one's on the way. So, let's go get it. I'm pretty sure I, I could have gotten this thing as soon as we'd gotten the jackpack, the jetpack. The jet mm. Let me see. In the next one... Oop. It's not a pod, but it's a few bucks. Gonna stay on this side. Okay, it's in there, I believe. Just almost getting mugged by a couple of uh, annoyed tabbies. It's, yep, there, you there it is. Yep. What have you, sneaky? The <laughs> Dash pads. Okay, allows you to briefly sprint with zero energy cost. Those would be good for getting back. If we just make a line of them, we could just basically make a highway. Possibly, mm. depending on how expensive they are. Yeah. Let me remove that one. And let's mm. see, which of these is closest? Okay, those two are right next to each other. Okay, this one. Let me see, northbound. That way. Yeah. Okay, yep. 
the, apparently there's still a few Tango Largos around. Because, yeah, this is where I found them. So what is with the music? Hmm. It's just the pots. Let me see. Somewhere around here. Yep, right here. Must have gone past the heart cell. Okay, I thought most of those would be in more difficult to find places, but no. Okay, that's just damn good. But that's probably will be needed sooner or later. Yeah, all the same, it'll make for a, a good buffer. There. And you can go for a swim. What the heck? I, I know you don't like them, but come on, that's a bit harsh. And now I just realized that I don't know if I have any ringtails at the ranch at the moment. Hmm. I think you got rid of it, them due to uh, the chaos they caused. Yeah, it might have been them that set off the tar. You know, they may, might have set off the tar infestation. I don't actually know. That's a good choice. Uh, yeah. hmm. But they were. They did warn you about uh, having them in the, on the farm. Yeah, but more about for the fact that they'll steal foods. And they, they will keep eating stuff even when they're full. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that probably includes other plorts. Now, Lar uh, Largos will go after any plorts that is different from their combination anyways. Okay. Now, is this going to open up a new teleporter? Yes! We have a new area. And what Behold, is this here? Happy yeah. Heaven! Ilya's favorite place. <laughs> is that... Yeah, it's a stack of tabbies. <laughs> okay. Now, that place does not too look too kind. But let's head there all the same. Yeah, need to clean my glasses. While you. Okay, doesn't look that bad here. Oh, oh, okay. no! Come on, game. I thought that was going to open up to an entirely new area, but it's it's back to here. Yeah. Okay, that is a little bit of a disappointment, but it's also a shortcut. Oh well. Yeah, shortcut will always be welcome, but. Yeah, I, I kind of see where Hinan is coming from. Then I'm going to take a guess that the teleport pad here will connect to this one here. To, to, yeah, to the Tanuki. Hmm. But the Boom Slime is currently blocking our access to a new region, or a new area at least. So that, that should still lead to new stuff. Hmm. In there. Okay. A bit of a disappointment, but not a crushing one. Okay. That's the map thing that we found for this area. Okay. We can just head out. Put this in storage. Hmm. <clears throat> Be careful. Let's see, was there any others here that I made note of? Let's see, only those two down there. And then there's two more pods on the lower air region. Okay. Hmm. We'll see which we get depending on which we get closer to. Nope. Uh, can't carry it at the moment. Okay. Let's go to deposit some of this. Then we can probably just feed leftover chickens, well, <laughs> to the slimes that we find around. Wait, why do you have rock slimes with you? Because I need, you know, I need more of these 
the for the uh, the free roaming area, but I can just grab them on the way back. Okay. So one, two, three. And yeah, boom slime. And that should bring us to some new stuff. Not an entirely new region, but there's likely stuff hidden behind it. At the very least out of best I didn't notice that I was out of stamina or energy. Golden cat in the yard! <laughs> Yeah, just a normal tabby, I think. Yeah. And speaking of gold, I found a few gold slimes around. Uh, I, I managed to catch... Not, not catch, I managed to feed at least three of them. Two of which I stored the plorts... Well, in the storage. One of them I sold. I'm not sure if we ever will have stuff that needs gold plorts, but I think in Slime Rancher 1 we did need gold plorts at one point for something. Yeah, do... Can we combine that plort with the regular uh, slimes? Can we get no. Oh. You can't make gold... Uh, you, you can't make gold uh, Largos. Okay, all of you, get out of the way. The Boom Slimes icon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. <gasps> we found something here. Oh. Oh. Emp Ember Valley Portal. Okay. And there's a drone. Oh, the other one... Oh, it didn't show. Probably hmm. because you opened both up, so... In the future, don't do that. Let's see. Amber Valley Portal, a teleporter that hacks the ancient uh, warp network on Rainbow Island, allowing one-way travel to Amber Valley. Okay, so if we put down a portal over here, and one of these back at the base, we can jump back and forth real quick. Nice. And let's see. I'm going to presume that the other thing was a decoration, or maybe an upgrade for something. Or upgrade components. We'll find that back at base. And hello there. This gate is still sealed too, so it really must have been the first to enter since it was abandoned. It was here that I had my first doubts. I thought I was talking to engineers, problem solvers, people who could fix what I found. But once we left the labyrinth and met up here, I saw they were smiling. They were excited at the sight of opportunity. The company had sent their money people, not engineers. I don't think they had even considered stabilization. It wasn't long before it all collapsed. Okay. This one from 34. So, wait. Okay, that... So maybe this place was the subject of some sort of industrial accident? Hmm. A bunch of fire slimes, but I already have enough of those. Hmm. Let me just grab some of this, because there's a refinery link there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go feed the Tanuki one, or the Ringtail. And then we'll head off to the other area, see what we can find there. And yeah, good spots for putting down the refinery link, huh? Yeah. Okay. Bunch of bat slimes are coming out to play. Na 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 na. Bat slime, bat slime. Na 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 na. I'm sure if I did that right. <laughs> Close enough. I haven't found too much in this area here. It's just empty ruins at the moment. But I do think that I found a teleporter pad here that's inactive. It's a bit of a an abandoned amphitheater. 
Hmm. I'll never say no to this, even though we have like 100 of these at the moment, I think. Hmm. And yeah, that doesn't really lead... To, it leads to that, but there's not too much there. But I guess we could use that to get to the other area where those two pods are. Okay. Hmm. Oops, some more of this. Okay. Let's drop this off. And then we'll go climb the mountain. Which you can do this way. Okay, I'll leave these two for now. Otherwise, we'll just be running back to the... To the, the, the refinery link all the time. There. Mm. Wait, have I gotten all the way up there before? Hmm. The easiest way to see that is to just climb up around here since these seems to go up higher. Stuck. <laughs> there. Okay. And yeah, now we can get to there. I do think I've been there before, but it's always good to double check. Going to need to parkour a bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, just a courtyard full of <laughs> pink tabbies. And the teleport points for the future. And you both something. Yep, another node of these. Okay, deals I'll grab for the moment. Tar. There we go. Easy enough. Hmm. He seemed a bit too deliberate to not be stepping stones. What is that? That's another orb. Or sphere, pod, whatever. It's a circular thing with goodies in it. <laughs> Golden chicken statue. Golden soaring monument to all chicken kinds. <laughs> okay. Now, so let me see. What if they Go introduce ahead. other animals to use to feed the uh, slimes? I, I think they'll probably leave it to just chickens. Since... Uh, yeah, I thought I heard something for a moment there. Uh, but yes, then it will be interesting to see how they make something like, well, pigs. Yeah, they'll probably stick to just chickens since, well, they've already got multiple variants of those, or many variants of those. But yeah. Maybe. Let me double check this. Zoom in a bit. Okay, there are two pods. And I can double check here all the same. Oh, there's one of them. A wheelbarrow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and the other one here is over there. In an area we could have gotten to, but I don't think I've gotten to before. 
Oh, I, I just realized, I think you want, would want them to read that flavor text. <laughs> yeah, about uh, backpack uh, technology and such. And also the final word. Alright, see? Let me take a look. Blueprints, decoration... Wheelbarrow. Despite, despite backpack technology making many manual hauling devices obsolete, wheelbarrows persisted for their advanced ability to, to get in and go wee. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta love the devs' uh, sense of humor, huh? Oh yeah. I think I'm short on this. I'll take that. Okay, sometimes with the... Sometimes it seems like... You know, yeah, it looks like sometimes when I use the backpack, it causes quite a bit of rumbling. Yeah, we've got plenty of that. And there. Yeah. <laughs> and the water slimes are embarrassed because there's too many of them over here. Okay. Let's have a look. Back tank, okay. Nice. So that's two more I can scratch off here. Yeah, that one and that one. And the two last ones I found are over here. Okay. The music is getting real adventurous at this point. Yeah, it makes me, it makes me open it for. Like, it's actually, the music is still... Nah, man, yeah, the music is yeah, still... it's already open. It, it might be lively, but it's still rather soothing in a way. Yeah. Actually, I think this is one we just found earlier, or... or opened earlier. Hmm. Maybe. For now... Yeah, we're passing by that one anyways. Okay. But I, yeah. I feel like I, I get sleepy earlier when we play this game. Like, I like this game, but it, the atmosphere and the music is so soothing. <laughs> so it's, it's not visually boring. It's just, yeah, probably the towards that, yeah. But it's not boring, just. Yeah, just relaxing. <laughs> Ah, uh, we've, we've got wind going on here. Yeah, that's what's something. Hello! Is, is this strong enough wind for... Si yep, it is. <laughs> the game <What>? almost <laughs> tries to answer me. Uh, they, they aren't that dangerous. They'll only really lift you up if you get right in the middle of them. But it almost did? And even that, it, it's not going to just throw you out at sea or something. Okay. Oh, just we got said that here, here. Like, you know it's gonna happen. Yeah, we've got a pollen storm or vine tangle, so we'll probably see some uh, tangle, uh, yeah, tangle slimes pop up around here. Uh, let me check. Where are these two? So, we're close, somewhat close. The one is right behind the teleporter point. Uh, also, there, there's a door over there that I opened up. Uh, did not mean to do that. Yeah, th there's one up over, right over here, about. And I don't think I've gone over here yet. So we might go, we might go take a look there. For now. We should head towards the ringtail. Feed that, see what that may unlock. Oop. Left here. Okay. Let's see. The pond is up there. Hmm. Probably best to get at that from above than trying to climb the place. 
This will make a good spot. Okay. Hmm. Has it been? Oh, so it was one. I wasn't going to say anything. Show her. Anyway, uh, I've been pondering. It's something I feel I've been pondering a lot when we played the first game. Yeah. Can the slimes be sentient? Well, we know oh. that Bob can talk at least. Yeah, at least three of them. All right. There it is. I mean, not all, all life are sentient. My question is, are the slimes sentient and intelligent? Nice. Now we know that some can be smarter than the others through some way, but it would depend a bit. And that's a honey phosphor, even though it looks like a gold one. Let me delete this one. We'll get the other one on the way back. Okay, for now, we need to head over there. I'm not going to make that jump. That's way too far for the jackpack. Okay. You mean backpack, right? Hello. Oh, this. Okay, this is a new. Okay, screenshots. Uh, no nuts. Plus file. Plus layer. Okay. I know there was one door somewhere that we've. Uh, haven't been able to open yet that I think required a boom plort, but I haven't been able to find it again. Had now I the, know this one. Okay. So now we know that we need a flutter plort to open up a door over there to something. Angry slimes. Use these to get around. It's... This way. Alright. Oh, hmm. Too bad that this, it's sunrise now because there is that nectar that uh, the flutter slimes like, or that is actually their only diet. So, also their favorite food immediately. But that apparently only spawns at night. Okay. Curious. And yeah, we'll need that for this one over here. So we'll definitely need to come out here at night specifically to go collect those. For now, let's try and find our way over to... Okay, we're finding our way to this area instead, but we can cross over there. But there is something here that I also wanted to show. I don't think we've been here before. Also, I set up another one of these here, because there's a lot of beehives around. And a bunch of <laughs> ringtail largos. Okay. Yep, ow. Let's see. You might have already caught a bit of a glimpse at what I wanted to show. But it'll, it'll be easier to spot if I... I had gold! <laughs> Pirate sense is tingling! <laughs> the... Oh, gives me a good shot of that, all the same. What is the name of? That's what oh, I'd like to know, because I haven't is. actually gotten close to it either. I've gotten close enough to trigger this one, but this is about as close as I've gotten. So... Okay, immediately things turn psychedelic. Okay, okay. It's, it's not harmful. Hmm. 
I'm guessing this might have something to do with that quote unquote, uh, with that likely accident. Uh, also, that over there, that's where that's one of the plants that the nectar uh, there spawns from. All right. But yeah, only at night. Okay. It's all self-destruct. Yeah, it got caught in the waterfall, I think. No, no, it was died in the graph. You can see, still see it's uh, goonies in the grass. Hello. This is... Oh, hello. Strange diamond, definitely grabbing that. Since these things are rare. This... Oh, we, we've been here before. Okay, I was about to say... Hmm. Wait, does that mean that we've already seen that, that's, that weird there. effect as well? I dumped it. Hmm. I'm going to... Okay, I won't... I'm... Hmm. Yeah, the Flutter sl Slime should be here all the same when we pass by here again. If, if things last long enough that it turns to night, then I'll definitely go grab a bunch of nectar to feed this thing. But we also need one for that... Yeah, for the door. Oh. I'm attempt to cure some of the ruins, like... You see a lot of slime statues, which does make me wonder... Whoever was here, but did they love the slimes so much that they made statues of them everywhere, or did the slimes themselves make them? Yeah, that's the question. I wouldn't be surprised if the slimes just... Uh, typically with, with hyper-advanced uh, aliens, you get that they uh, ascend past the needs for physical bodies and such. But I think in this case it may have been that they... Well, <laughs> turned themselves into slimes. So they don't need to worry about uh, all of life's bullshit anymore. They're basically functionally immortal, and they... <laughs> okay, that was cute, just one fluttering around. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're functionally but... immortal, and they can come back as many other things and... Right, I forgot. <laughs> Night time. Hmm. Yeah, you forgot that. And also, here's the thing though. If they are, if these slimes actually are intelligent as a person, that makes you, that would put a entire operation here into question. Yeah, a bit. Especially if the word comes out that people wonder, wait, why are, have we been, uh, even the bad guys? Uh, only situation. really if you mistreat the slimes and such. Other than that, they typically seem to... Well... They, they seem to don't really care about being imprisoned and such. Hmm. Let's see... Well, I guess that means we can take a look over here. It, immediately get run over by a pink log by a pink rock okay. anything over here hmm uh, yeah, this is mostly ruins as well uh what i just saw the shaky walk off the cliff Yep. And also, seriously, blue grass. Momentary study there for a, for a second, so I think something must might have loaded in. Hmm. See the key, Sam. Right. Yeah. I'm short on that, so I'll have to grab more, as much of that much of it as I can find. And this place is a bit abandoned, even by the slimes, it seems.
Hmm. Ribbon streamers. Ah, uh, there's the slimes. For a moment, I feared that we'd Ever entered into some sort of dead zone. Hmm. Yeah, there's the sea hen. New track. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep exploring around here. This feels like there is some significance about this place. Yeah. Okay, there are more and more of them spawning. Probably because we took a bit of a different route to get into here. Gave them less time to spawn in. Okay, that's the end of this here. Hmm. Nope. Uh, don't have space. Okay, we can screw around here for a bit. Let's see if we can find anything. And yeah, when it comes nighttime, we can go back. Yeah, we haven't been there yet, so on the way back we can definitely go take a look after we've put all of the chickens away. Into the Tanuki one? Yep. And otherwise, the, just the local slime population. Hmm. It doesn't really seem to be much of anything here at the moment. But yeah, I think this is the most recently added area because it has a bunch of these placeable toys around. Which have only been recently... A more recent... A more recent thing. Hmm. <laughs> Angler trying to flashbang us. Hmm. Let me... F1. There's still one type of slime that we haven't encountered yet. Yeah. I think that's a tiny bit of a spoiler, perhaps. But that might be the... Uh, that's, that's likely the Saber slimes. Since, according to the wiki, those appear in this game somewhere as well. Question is where? Oh, right. Those. I've forgotten those. Yeah, the one in the area where you could only temporarily be. I would need to rush around trying to get resources <clears throat> without getting eaten. Hmm. But yeah, there, there'll probably be more stuff around here. Hmm. But for now, let's just grab what we can. And yeah. The game is about to consider it night time, I think. And it transformed <laughs> to its ultimate form. The hunter angler or angler hunter. All the same, it's twice the <laughs> it's twice the predator it used to be. Oh god. Little refill. Okay, let's go store our stuff. Or store the stuff that we can. Let's not fall down there. I've already made that dumb mistake once. On stream even, but yeah. Okay. Let's get to the ringtail. And yeah, we have more than enough to feed it. So let feed me carry it. you around. I really want to feed it. Yeah, to feed it. Feed it. Okay. And let's see. What's the exact moment that they turn back to normal? Uh, Captain. Okay, not at six. Uh, they're six oh three about. 
There we go. He's taunting you. Okay. Feast. <laughs> okay, just to make sure that there's no tar. There we go. All of you get it. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to run in, but I did grab some of them. And, yep, this leads back here. Okay, that is uh, a sure. big ass shortcut. Nice. Okay. And now we head back, because now the nectar should be growing. Or. Ah, there it is. Nope. Our nectar! Get your own! Open it up for the trees? Yeah, they grow out of whatever place the flowers grow, and apparently not all of them will grow every night, and... Okay, that ringtail decided to just... Getting back into the sea was preferable than getting attacked by tar. I saw you. Indeed. <laughs> Misjudged my landing just a tiny bit there. Tiny? No, no. My dear captain, you almost... You almost... <laughs> you have failed. Almost went for a swim. Better too. That's... I think I should save that for another moment. Probably, yeah, for the big fails. Yeah. Okay. No. There's more. We're going to need 50 of this. Okay, now more of them are starting to appear in the flowers. Okay. Well, actually, 25 probably should be enough again. Yeah. Since it is also their favorite foods. I may have an idea of what kind of sound we can add to the soundboard. No. There's already been a few suggestions that's been added. Uh, uh, and maybe something like a, you know, a cavalry trumpet? <laughs> okay, one of the two, I would say, there. So we wouldn't uh, want more things more that are probably. too similar. Ooh. There. Insert do music. <laughs> also, I, I like this mix here, the cotton ringtail. Oh dear god, that's adorable. Okay. There's still tar one's around, on. but less at least. <laughs> God, it's all the same. Okay, let's feed you these at least. And, oh yeah, that's, those are definitely counting as double. So that was seven. This is number eight. Good. You met. Number eight. Let's see, I probably should use one of the nectar to uh, get a port for the the shortcut? Oh, hello, there's another door here. Music getting a bit electronic. Yep, yeah, it's a bit weird. Sounds like the music was glitching out a little bit. Hmm. Radiant ore. Okay, where... Oh, hello, hello. Painted hen. 
Some believe it's what lies at the end of the rainbow. Totally disappointing. <laughs> Uh, painted hens are colorful chickens, once found exclusively in a very distant region of the far, far range known as the Glass Desert. Given that the prismatic quali uh, qualities of its flora match the plumage of a painted hen, could it be that these birds actually originated on Rainbow Island? If so, how did they also manage to get to the nearly impossible to reach Glass Desert? It all adds up to yet another incredible chicken-related mystery in our universe. <laughs> Okay, and just uh, the same as with all chickens. Dude. There we go. Fire! Wait, water, water, water! Okay, where is the activator for this door? I'm not seeing any statues that can accept the plorts. So maybe it's on the inside. You mean inside of all of us? You no, know, on the other side of this dome or wall. Oh, right. Hmm. Uh, For now, let's try and find as much dew as we can uh, before what? sunrise. Um, that was a curious statue. Oh, this, that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh dear. Okay, back to nectar hunting. Yeah, we just we just need to find those flowers wherever they grow. Don't seem to be any around here. I will grab this, though. And there's going to be a, a tar breakout in a bit here, because there's four different types near each other. Oh, hello. Bass boots, okay. Hmm. There's something here. Let me, let me first look around for some more nectar. Hmm. <laughs> Thirty-four. Actually, maybe I mis maybe I misremembered. Because so far the drones that we found have all had thirty-four on the side. I think, and it's the pods that have seven on them, or what yeah. seems to be a seven. Let me see. Oop. Seems we're not having much luck with those, so let's take a bit of a look. Let's see, no, no, no sign of the slime waters. Wait, have I been here before? No idea. Hmm. Okay, I think that I think that hole just connects back down to a place we've already been. Why are you just being annoyed in the corner? Yeah, we've been here before. I recognize this bit. Okay, it's just a shortcut down. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we won't have too much luck with finding nectar. Or more nectar, that is. That's a bunch of tar. It's a do music! I guess I, I'm doing it for the sake of memes, folks. I doubt we're gonna put in do music here. Yeah. <laughs> Especially seeing as I'm the editor. That too. Hmm. Okay, it's looking like the. The nectar spots are annoyingly rare. Is this where we needed to... No, this is where we need a hunter plort from the looks of it. 
at least we know they are the favorite for that this certain logo we are feeding, so... We don't need as many mm. to feed it. Mm. Might have been a mistake that, but I will. Here we go, and that opens that up. Okay. Okay. Let me go grab these quickly. Okay. I don't actually need to carry the chickens around anymore. Three chickens! And then suddenly Stampedo Slams arrive. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be mostly to this area. With some in the other. It, it would make sense that the uh, the food spawns where the well the slimes that eat it uh, appear. Hmm. Just a bit of a disappointing amount. So I'll just have to i I'll just have to come back here a few other nights to well feed the Largo Gordo. Energy recharge. Okay, there's a few more points here that haven't... Oh, oh, I see now. They fall off. Okay. So not only need to look them for on the flower, but you need to look under the flower too. Yeah, for they roll. They're likely to roll away. Now, I think they I read on the wiki that they. I read on the wiki that they uh, don't last long, so that would also be a factor in it. Okay. Well, yeah, let me explain it. Uh, if they fall off, of course they're gonna spoil. Uh, I remember this hole. I, I can't see the bottom of it, so I don't want to risk going down it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Sun is risen, or is rising, so the spawn window should be closed now, I think. Hmm. Okay, let's feed this one to a flutter. If there's still any around due to all of it. Tar, hello? Yeah, there is. One of them just jumped past you. Okay. Okay. Of course. No. You... Wait, why are you trying uh, to feed it up? That's what they eat, oh. and we need a floor of these for that door that's nearby. Oh, so. Okay. There. Okay. And yeah, there's a, a side effect of the flutters eating their favorite food. Is that they uh, give up a calming uh, reaction to anything nearby? Let's That's see. Now, where was it? It was somewhere around here, along the the water line here. Take it time. We're running out. And we got a decent amount still. Let's see. Was it just underneath where we just were? I, I swear, it hasn't been like uh, two hours. <laughs> yeah, it's a very relaxing game to play. Yeah, but time still flies. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I know it was somewhere around here. Actually, yeah, I made a screenshot of it. It's... No, 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 it's... Wait, what? It's here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, I think it's there. Okay. It makes me wonder, should we somewhere? assign someone to be the navigator? <laughs> I don't think we have one of those yet, so probably. Okay. 
Luckily, we can stay in the air as long as we have energy. Uh, no, it's much further north here. And yeah, I'm not making that... I'm not trying that crossing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Golden Flutter statue. <laughs> oh, hello, there's a cave over there. We might be able to make that jump. Though I'm feeling a lot more confident about this one. Hmm. But if we miss... Or if I miss, more like... Hmm. Yeah, let's... Yeah, it, it feels a little bit risky. A bit more stamina upgrade, is that sure? Uh, hello? There's still some here. Let's see, we can ditch that. Okay, this is only supposed to grow at night. I'm guessing... Hmm, it if may have spawned respond? after, and it just hasn't fallen loose yet. Hey, come on. Here we go. Moon Dew Nectar. Okay, now it explains why it's only doing that on nights. Yep. Okay. That cave is somewhere over there. Let's see. Let's yeah. Let's jump up to there. Nope, mm. nope, nope. Did not mean to. Oh, that one's lost. Okay. Captain. Why? Because I'm dumb. Okay. Join here, yeah. folks. You go first. Okay. There it is. Now, is this a new cave or one I've seen already? Okay, looks like I've seen already. Yep, been here before. Uh, ow. Hmm. Okay, and this is that door. We're just on the inside. Okay. Now that just means we'll have to go around. It's up a bit. Okay, so it won't lead to anything special, but it'll be just another shortcut. But those are always useful. Oh, yeah. I think it was around here. Okay, no further. Kind of parkouring our way around where we're not really supposed to be. There it is. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, no real Waste need for room. that. But we, we, we've got entire plort collectors full of the stuff <laughs> back Waste at the ranch. Room. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think for now then, probably best to just head back to the ranch. I'll probably go collect more nectar off stream so that next time we can we can finish off uh, feeding the flutter gordo and that should have dealt with all of the current gordos yep those two are gone the ringtail is gone okay yep oh. hmm Oh, uh, yawning already. I'm tempted to put the teleporter at the end, but we're already heading back anyways. 
Yeah, I feel like at this point, you will be the one picking who we raid. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Pizza is in the rounds. Wait a suggestion. Oh, before we go, there is the pod around here. So it is, yeah, over there. We've walked past that like a hundred times or so. But this time it's getting cracked. <laughs> Cheerful statue. Aww. Okay, I, I probably will at one point start decorating. But for now I'm saving most of my materials for, well, utilities and upgrades. Yellowstone? Uh, Short on that. Yeah, you were missing, missing more. three. You just got three. Even more here. Yeah, it seems to spawn mostly of a bit off the beaten path. And with that I mean just direct lines from the observatory to the teleporters and such. They do occasionally change position. So that is something to keep in mind, that you won't always find them in the exact same spots. Let's see. But yeah, we can make another thing. What that will be, we'll see. Maybe a teleporter. <clears throat> yeah, I, I really should just start putting down some teleporters around the place to make getting back here easy. And now that we know yeah. we can also get teleporters towards places, we can make a, a back and forth. Like we what? just put down a teleport, another new message. <laughs> we're getting we're getting a lot of calls today. You are very annoyed. Mm. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, Thora. And hey, Dobby. I wanted to give you nice, since I tried. So I tried making cookies, but uh, baking isn't exactly my area of expertise. Hobson said they were so, so, so edible. <laughs> anyway, I bought you something instead. Hope you like it. Pink mangrove. Okay. Hello. And Bob. Hello, human person. Yulki. And, okay. Okay, now it just looks like a normal pink slime in there. Maybe it was just one of his expressions. Yulki plus chickens is... Chicky, 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 chicky. Yulki, okie day. Okay. <laughs> okay, they're all happy enough. Uh, let's see. I'll need to. I'll need a pen for these. But for now, let's deposit some stuff. Hmm. Get these some food as well, probably. And yeah, the ringtails need a spot. So I can probably put them out back here. Hmm. Let's see. Those prefer painted hens. The two ring tail actually I can I can remove I can remove you lots. Since I already what have a eight? bunch of you. But I, I already have angler cottons over there. Don't I? But you had two fences of angler cottons? Let me double check. Yeah, Angler, Cotton. Okay. Uh, let me think. Uh, I'll, I'll grab I'll grab some Cotton uh, lords and mix them together with these little jackasses. Okay. Okay. 
and return you all to your primordial sea. No. There. That's the year of the dragon, not the year of the bunny. <laughs> okay, I might need to lower the audio on that one a bit. Okay. Yeah, the, let's be honest, the goofy sh scream thing has always been loud, even in the cartoons. Solar shield. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It tried to eat it, but it missed. <laughs> it's just looking shifty. Looking around to see if anyone saw it embarrass itself. Last one. Okay, then I just need to empty this thing out. For obvious reasons. Okay. These want to be fed. Let's see. I, I know with a lot of the... Yeah, from what I saw of the Utilities update trailer, there is a bunch of stuff that you can use to semi-automate some stuff. We'd, need, we'd first need to find the blueprints, of course. And before those start getting uppity. Let's lower that down to low. So they don't get overfed. But yeah, with some of the utility stuff, I might be able to just have... Uh, yeah, it, it depends on what sort of things, but like maybe I could have them draw these out automatically and just launch them into the sea because we already get so freaking many of them. Uh, better just to sell them or whatever you may need them for. Yeah, maybe... I could put down a market link, if that's possible. Let me check the blueprints at the moment. Uh, yeah, we don't really have anything of that kind yet. But I have seen that you can get, you can put down cannons that will launch things. <clears throat> And also, like, fans that will push things around. Okay, and... Hmm. Now would actually be a good uh, moment to go over... <clears throat> to get more nectar, but at this point, I think by the time we'd arrive, it would probably be, uh... Yeah, it, it would probably be sunset again, or sunrise again. Well, that we have two minutes remaining. Uh, there. I'd rather have their ports than that. We still have a spot here open. Hmm. Actually, I know what I can put here. I just need to get you a rooster. Probably before it ages out. Mm. <laughs> okay. We'll make it a two on one. go. These Elder Collectors are oddly expensive. 1300 hmm. What? Well, yeah, that should be all current uh, types that we can ranch at the moment. Uh, except for pinks, but we can just go out and grab uh, stuff from them outside. Uh, yeah, so these... Okay. 
And yeah, there's still plenty of these 30... There's still plenty of those paths to find. Now there's rain and a thunderstorm there. And that's the stream timer. So yeah, about time to end it. Uh, forgot to go over here, but we can go there next time. Or I can just scout around uh, as I'm gathering nectar. Are but, we doing yeah. the uh, shit break next time? It uh, could be. Like I said, I, I wanted to give this one a few more episodes before we go back to 50-50 with these. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's Slime Rancher 2 for today. So, let me... I can remove these because we've found the stuff. Uh, don't save. Okay, let's have a look at who are online. So, remove the always on top on this. Okay, we've got a, there's a lot more people online now. Uh, we have Nico Surferado with Monster Hunter World. Uh, Lazarus is online with Klonoa 2. Um, <laughs> yep. Halloween with a game called Wedding Witch. Okay. I'm going to take a look at that because that just has me curious. Um, of course, the ad is making it stupid to actually see. Yep. Oh. It's a, it's a Survivor-like uh, game from the looks of it. So I'll pass on that for the moment. Um, let's see. Radio Dead Air with Call to the Lamb. Hmm. Uh, let's go visit Lazarus. Uh, let's do that. It has been a while. Mm. Yeah, I am a bit curious about that game as well. I've heard good about it, but I've never really... Uh, seen much of it. Okay. Slash, raid, and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, let's see, any lurkers? Uh, Sensei is lurking as usual. <laughs> and thank you anyone else who is watching this uh, without an account or on YouTube later. Okay, I thought you were going. I thought you were going to pipe up about something with that, but yeah, thank you as always, as uh, Idrik here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching here on YouTube. Wait, no, watching here on Twitch or later on YouTube. There we go. Yeah. Now I got it right. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait! Um... And don't forget to throw a bell likes at the like button. <laughs> yeah, come on, no need for that, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's appreciated, but I won't actively add for stuff like that. I'll um, be about it. Let's see. Maybe <laughs> multiplayer tomorrow. Um, yeah, and we'll continue with Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 on Tuesday. If nothing gets in the way, of course. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, multiplayer Mondays is always fun. Yeah, whenever we can do that. Uh, hopefully we can get some Borderlands going again finally, otherwise we'll just see what. Maybe we can move Valheim to there, since Wednesday is unavailable with that now. Or not really unavailable, but far less likely, due to being it after work and such. Uh, probably can't even bring in Durban Lord into the Valheim. No, I wouldn't be against it. Hmm. But they have the game as well. Yeah, a lot of people have it since it is very popular. Okay. Yeah. For now though, Let's get that raid started. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well, for sh I sure will do. And watch out for Tar. And it's under seagulls. <laughs> <laughs>